Micah chapter 4 In the future, the mountain with the Lord's temple will be the highest of all. It will reach above the hills, and every nation will rush to it. People of many nations will come and say, Let's go up to the mountain of the Lord God of Jacob and worship in his temple. The Lord will teach us his law from Jerusalem, and we will obey him. He will settle arguments between distant and powerful nations. They will pound their swords and their spears into rakes and shovels. They will never again make war or attack one another. Everyone will find rest beneath their own fig trees or grapevines, and they will live in peace. This is a solemn promise of the Lord All-Powerful. Others may follow their gods, but we will always follow the Lord our God. The Lord said, At that time I will gather my people, the lame and the outcasts, and all into whose lives I have brought sorrow. Then the lame and the outcasts will belong to my people and become a strong nation. I, the Lord, will rule them from Mount Zion forever. Mount Zion in Jerusalem, guardian of my people, you will rule again. Jerusalem, why are you crying? Don't you have a king? Have your advisors gone? Are you suffering like a woman in childbirth? Keep on groaning with pain, you people of Jerusalem. If you escape from your city to the countryside, you will still be taken as prisoners to Babylonia. But later, I will rescue you from your enemies. Zion, because of your sins, you are surrounded by many nations who say, We can hardly wait to see you disgraced. But they don't know that I, the Lord, have gathered them here to grind them like grain. Smash them to pieces, Zion. I'll let you be like a bull with iron horns and bronze hoofs. Crush those nations and bring their wealth to me, the Lord of the earth.